All right, I haven't done a Fibble or a Zordle for a few days, so I thought I'd do one of each today. So on the left there is the Zordle for today. That's like Wordle, but there's two lades, two two words overlaid on the same grid. And you'll notice that we've got hard mode turned on, so we will get this first word revealed one letter at a time as we make our guesses. And on the right is the Fibble. This is just like Wordle, except on every row, one of the clues is a lie. And I'm gonna try and solve them at the same time by making the same guesses on both puzzles. So since we don't know anything about the Zordle, I'm gonna work off of the what we have on the Fibble. Um, I like to repeat letters to look for contradictions. I don't like to repeat lots of grays because, I mean, we know that at least three of these grays are true. So, but uh, finding the lies is pretty much the key to Fibble. Like figuring out what letters are in it is important, but until you can understand the lies, all those clues mean nothing. So, um, so I'm gonna repeat some of those, but maybe not. Uh, what do I want to do? I mean, I could do something like froth if I really wanted to repeat a lot. I don't know. Let's do that. Okay. So one of the R's is a lie. What, what, let's let's guess it over here, and then we'll come back. Okay. Now back over here on the fibble. One of the R's is a lie. One of the T's is a lie. Everything else has to be true. Uh, and. So there is either an R or a T in the answer. We don't know which one. And and we know that okay, on, on this row with either whichever one is in the word, the R or the T, the yellow is true. Cuz it can't be you could normally say like this is a lie because there's an R in it and this is a lie cuz the R is second, right? They could both be lies, but then these would both have to be true, which is impossible. So the yellow, whichever one of these is not a lie. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> My point is neither of those could be green. One of them is gray, one of them is yellow. Okay, anyways, that was a roundabout way to say that, but that's what it is. But the F and the H are both green, which is super helpful. Uh, all right, let's look over here for a minute, then we'll come back to that, because I've got some more thoughts on that, but I wanna, I wanna look over here. So we've got the D, the R, the O. So really anything using those three letters and some new ones is good over there. We don't have much yet. Okay, so back over here. What I'm thinking is we've got the F and the H. So we know it's not gonna be, let's, let's assume the R is the letter that's in it for a minute. It's not gonna be RH like that. So it would have to be this, which would be, what would that be? Cause it's not TH. Because we're assuming that the R is in the word, so there's no T. Um, CH. I don't. I don't really like that. And yeah, I. I I'm thinking it's got to be the T, and then it's not FT. It has to be the T. So actually, actually, whether it's the R or the T, it's third. And so, uh, Fitch would work. Fitch is pretty good. Ooh, that's really good. All right, so I'm thinking Fitch. So let's try to do a word with D-R-O and maybe an I and or a C. What would that be? Maybe something I-R-D, something like that. Or, or, or we could do, we could go with something like chi, oh, but there's no H. Right. I was gonna say we could do some new letters too. We don't necessarily have to reuse the D, R, and O. I mean, it might be good, but what about something like claim? That's gonna check the I and the C over here. Um, we're not getting contradictions then, but at least we can kind of just I don't know, see what happens. We might get lucky and get like a green at the beginning or the end and then we'll know that that is a lie. Um, and I think that's gonna be helpful over here. It's five new letters over here, so let's, let's do that. Okay, that was really good. Okay, so, interesting. So, bitch, I was thinking there was an I and a C, but not the I there, and I think so we know that there's an R or a T, 
if it's the T, it has to be there, which is which is clearly nonsense. If it's the R, it has to be there, and that's clearly nonsense. So that I has to be the lie, which is good, because we were thinking F-I-T-C-H, which works with this these clues. So I'm gonna go with Fitch. There we go, okay. Well, it makes it easy when you solve one of the two puzzles, well, easier anyways, when you solve one of the two puzzles quickly, makes it easier to make, because now we can just focus on the Zordal. So, we've got the C and the L. Um, ooh, what's this gonna be? Ducks, maybe, or something? So, C, L, I would be good. Um, I don't know, so we've got the D, R, O, and I we wanna use in a different spot. It makes me wanna do droid, but of course, that's not different spots for those. Uh, what about, what about roids? I don't know if that's an acceptable guess, like, uh, short for steroids? But that would be pretty good. That would be new spots for the R, O, I, and D, and check for the S. Okay, okay, that was really good. Okay, so the second letter is L and O in the two words. Uh, we've got the I, so the C is the only one that we haven't located that we know. Ooh, this isn't ducks, what is this? Do, do, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, well, so it's either C, L, or C, O. Um, either one is possible, really, I guess. Uh, oh, we haven't found the R or the C yet. Okay, we need to find the C and the R still. Oh, and the D. What am I doing? Uh, that's a yellow. Okay, uh, so the C, R, and D we need to find still. And... No, we found this. I am blind. I don't know if you realize that, but I am blind. <laughs> Not really, but I feel like it sometimes. The C is right there. The R and the D are the two that we haven't found yet. Okay, uh, so, so let's do something ERD maybe. What about that? That could be good. Uh, but what would that be? Or, or maybe D-E-R? That could be good too. We've already used all the vowels, so... But, but, what about Ender? Two spots for E. I don't know if there's gonna be an E, but we can check two spots for it, why not? And N is a new letter, new spot for the D, new spot for the R. Okay, okay, and there's two E's. That was huge, okay, so. So, it could be Elder, du Ducat? I don't know what that is. Uh, if it was Elder, then we'd have C-O-I coins, Elder coins. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, apparently the Ducat was a coin in Europe uh, in the later Middle Ages into the 19th century. There you go, okay, I was not familiar with that. And there we go, we have our image from Mid Journey AI. Um, Ducat, it's coins, elder coins, so it has an old guy on the coins, I guess. All right, very cool. All right, well, it didn't end up being too difficult today since I got Fitch figured out pretty early. Froth just ended up being a hugely helpful guest, so there you go, that's the way it goes sometimes. So let me know how you did with today's Zordal and Fibble, and of course, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. If any of you are Hitchhiker's uh, Guide to the Galaxy fans, I'm waiting for the Babble oh, Fitch yeah. to Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. That's actually what I was thinking is uh, another good use for a robot is how many of you have been yelling kudos since I got the bonus word, kudo. I got distracted looking at my own videos. Whew, well, maybe Churn and Cacao are gonna save us because Jazzy and Geese were not good at all. Ooh, that was really good. Okay, okay. Uh, so, so that makes me think dude, the somebody the dude. Let's try that. Yes! Okay, scrap? I hope so, because it's our last guess. Woo! Okay. <laughs>